Hey everybody, Mark Smith the Comics and I'm back. This time I got a cool CGC unboxing from uh, an online auction house that I ended up picking up. Just came in the mail today. If you want to see what's in this package, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, I ended up getting nice CGC unboxing. I ended up picking up two slabs from uh, an auction house online. It's called Big Auctions, D-I-G. Um, they do weekly auctions on their site. Typically, they end on Wednesday nights. And um, I was looking at their auction Wednesday night shortly after I got out of work and uh, ended up finding a couple of uh, CGC slabs that were like going for pretty cheap that I thought were like definitely no brain buys. Um, so uh, let's open up the package. Let's see what we got. And uh, you guys can let me know in the comments down below whether there was some cool buys. So uh, here's the package. I bought from this company before. Um, it had been a while since I bought from them, but um, they did have a couple of uh, cool books on there that you know caught my eye. And um, you know these two books, when I was uh, watching them pretty closely, you know like I said, they didn't go for much. So uh, I had to pick them up and. Uh, Happy to show that off. Um, these guys package this really well. And uh, if I can get this open, I'll uh, show you guys the pack, you know, the actual books. All right, there we go. So, uh, like I said, packaged really well. It's one Marvel, one DC. Um, ended up paying, just so I can show you guys real quick, total of $67. So $67.53 for two CGC slabs. And uh, I believe they're both, one's from the Silver Age, one's from Bronze Age. So whenever you can get a CGC slab, Bronze Age and Silver Age for 60 bucks. You're doing well, regardless of what the book is. You know what the books are. So, um, we just open this up. There we go. Because I believe um, books between, let's see. So a book from 1979 still qualifies as a modern tier, but a book from 1963 does not. So you you do pay a little bit just for that book in itself. And um, for the prices I paid, the 60 bucks for the two, I know it costs more than 30 bucks to slab that book in itself. So uh, that was a pretty good buy just for the cost of the actual grading. Never mind what the book is in itself. So uh, let's get this opened up, and then I can show you what I have. Yeah, these guys, they pack really well, so uh, if you're ever worried about uh, buying books from these guys, don't worry because uh, your two slabs are uh, protected. So uh, I'm going to show you what two books I got in here. All right, good. And uh, I'll show you guys first, and then I'll uh, see the book for myself. Just to inspect to make sure that there's no damages and whatnot, you know. So I'll take the book out of the sleeve. All right, so first book. What we got? Boom. Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, issue number 70. So as you can see here, it's a 12 center. It is a Silver Age book. 6.0 off white pages. And uh, 
Let's see what it says on it for description. Jerry Siegel story, John Ford art, Kurt Swan and John Ford cover and artwork. And uh, in the comments here on the side, it says Mr. McFixick appearance. Um, and as you can see here on the cover, it says the secret of silver kryptonite. So this is the, I guess, I don't know what you want to call it, the first appearance of silver kryptonite. And uh, there are a ton of different colors of the, uh, you know, Superman origin kryptonite out there. Obviously, you can see a bunch of them here. There's spotlighting here on the cover. So uh, this is the first time that the silver kryptonite shows up in comics. Pretty cool. Like I said, I couldn't pass this up. I believe this was, as you can see, yep, $25. $25 for the slab. So I really couldn't pass that up. It was, you know, like I say, cost costs more to grade the book than what it's actually, what it sold for. So <laughs> that was kind of a no-brainer. And uh, I'm always looking to get, you know, some more uh, older, you know, slabs in the collection. All right, in the second book, this is a book I've been specking on. I talked a little bit about this book. I want to say, I don't know, maybe a few months back for potential uh, Moon Knight character villains to appear in the series. Um, is this a long shot? I would say, eh, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, you know, but it has potential. It's a great villain, like maybe a B, C to B level villain. But um, has some potential for the Moon Knight series, like I said. And um, it's a relatively cheap book to get raw. And uh, this is, there we go, Marvel 2-in-1, Thing in Moon Knight, issue number 52. And as you can see on here, it's uh, there's a character right there that's Crossfire. So uh, as it says on there, first appearance of Crossfire, which is William Cross, um, letter from Kurt Busiek, Stephen Grant story, Jim Craig and Paolo Marcos art, George Perez and Joe Sinat cover. It's a nice cover. Um, so uh, this, like I said, it's an 8.0 white pager, very cheap book, uh, great book to spec on. If that's something you're into, I you know definitely recommend picking this book up if you find it in the wild. But uh, at an 8.0, like I said, what I paid for this book, I paid 31.50 uh, for this book. It's a nice spec book. Like I said, it costs about 22 bucks to grade a CGC book for this era. You can't go wrong with that, you know. Um, and uh, that's it. Like I said. Two CGC slabs I ended up buying on Dig Auctions. Marvel 21 issue number 52 at an 8.0. And Superman Pal Jimmy Olsen issue number 70 at a 6.0. There you go. Two slabs for under $70. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is it a good buy? Have you used Dig Auctions before? If you have, let me know. Like I said, Comment down below. I like interacting with you guys in the chat. And uh, if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. Helps me out. Helps out the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, my expert the comics. Out.